If you watch boxing, you might know what the clinch is. But if you watch Spurs, you definitely know what the clinch is. It's when Spurs are drawn home or away 0-0 with 10 to 15 minutes left to play. What's going on, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Let's Talk Tottenham. Today, we're going to be talking about the game against West Brom, giving some of my own post-match thoughts, but also hearing from you. Let's Talk Tottenham has a Discord server, and we would love for you to be a part of it. There will be a link in the description down below. People are sharing their thoughts about the game, and I'll be sharing them here and reacting to them as well. And you can also send audio clips, which is awesome. It would be great to hear your voice. And so I'm just going to jump right into the game. Today, Spurs eked out a win against West Brom with an 88th minute header from none other than Harry Kane. And Spurs held much of the possession, but uh, someone actually found Jose Mourinho's notes at halftime, and I'm so glad because I felt the same way. No shots. Oh, it was it was so frustrating to see possession with nothing in the final third. Uh, now, overall, we did get the win. It was not pretty, but... I'm not pretty either, so who am I to say, as long as they get the W, I'm, I'm no one to judge, you know? Now, I also wanted to mention that I feel like Eric Dyer continues to retain the belt for the Chuck Liddell lookalike contest. And I wanna thank uh, Bill from England, pretty sure that's an actual picture of Eric Dyer uh, in a home kit. And then lastly, um, there was some pictures after the game that Gareth Bale may have an injury. Um, with ice on his foot. I don't really know. You know, Jose Mourinho, he's got that 200 IQ, and I feel like this could just be some mind games to keep him from having to go on international duty. He can stay with Spurs. Uh, but you you let me know. Do you think Bale is actually something, you know, he has something here to worry about, or is this more uh, coming from the the mind of Jose Mourinho? Uh, speaking of the international break, I would love to hear from you. My question is, do you think this comes at a good time for Spurs? You know, uh, and we're going to be looking at some of the Discord comments, and I've seen from people, they feel like, man, we are, are looking a little tired out there on the pitch, and I wonder if this would be a good break. Now, obviously, our stars are going to be playing in the international break, so it's not really much of a break for them. But do you think this comes at a good time? I, I kind of feel like it does in the sense that, you know, we had that amazing win against Southampton, that amazing win against Manchester United. And it felt like, you know, a lot of momentum going. And then we've just been kind of getting them over the line here. Um, obviously, that 3-1 win in Europa was great. But it feels like in our Premier League games, we're just really struggling. Or as I was corrected, Premier League games. Uh, we uh, we just seem to be struggling to 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 dominate. And I feel like we should be dominating. We've got so much firepower up front. Uh, but you let me know. Does this come at a good time? Is it not a great time? Uh, do you think that uh, this will be good for our team or not? You let me know in the comments down below or get in our Discord server. We would love to have you. Now, if you do not think Harry Kane is world class, my friend, here, please take some of these. Get your eyes checked. Uh, the, the man is amazing. And I saw some, some stats for him. It's from Last Word on Spurs. And I just feel like... This was from, not today, uh, he scored another goal today, but from Thursday, uh, he got his 200th goal uh, for Spurs in 300 games. That's a goal every 116 minutes. And for a penalty merchant, he only has 30 penalties. And, and look, I mean, 121 with his right, 45 with his left, 34 headers, 23 match winners, 34 doubles, 11 hat tricks, one poker. What more do you want from this man? Uh, he, he is going to win trophies. Jose Mourinho is here to, to get that happening right here uh, with Tottenham. But man, this guy is outstanding. Uh, I, I, I just cannot say enough good things about him. And yeah, if you're, not, if you're not thinking he's elite, if you're not thinking he's world class, I think you might need to get your eyes checked. So now we're at the part of the video where you tell me your thoughts via Discord. And so firstly, we look to our main man, Jinty from Scotland. And he says, my hot take, Jose still has a lot to do to get this Spurs team into the winning mentality he is famous for, as we made West Brom look like a top six side today. This win, however, is a good boost to getting that mentality going, as it would have been very Spursy to draw or lose to a scrappy goal in that game. I have to agree with you, Jinty. I feel like, like I said, you know, we were all in the clinch. 
and it was tough to to watch but finally we got it over the line and thankfully it was us you know it's the same as as with the game with burnley it's like man it is it's just it's just one goal is all that it takes to end up with zero points and we need every point that we can so i'm glad we got it over the line this time but um yeah i would i would like to get get a goal earlier on get some insurance you know and uh, and see us finish those games a little bit stronger uh, than getting into those last minutes and just kind of eking one out next we go to kt from india and he says second game running i felt the team look knackered when the game ended i thought that very fine margins and a bit of quality from our main man harry kane kept us afloat i agree I agree the midweek game takes quite a bit out of the team and understand it is what is expected of them, but I happened to catch the Chelsea game yesterday and they didn't look blemished at having played a midweek just like us. What do you guys have it down to? Why do we seem to appear leggy every few games? Do you think that it has to do with the style of play? KT, these are great questions. Thanks for asking them. And if you want to get into the comments down below and answer them yourself, I would love to see what you have to say. Uh, but personally, uh, you know, the first time you talked about this, I had said, ah, I think they kind of took their foot off the gas. But now I'm starting to agree with you. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the style of play. I, I know that it seems like it does seem to be a little bit more physical this year in terms of getting stuck into tackles. Definitely expecting the team to track back and be part of every defensive play. Um, I do think, you know, earlier in the season, we were playing Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and just all those games over the course of a few months, I would imagine they just need a good break. So yeah, I, I don't know if, um, you know, Chelsea didn't have to deal with that early on. You know, they weren't kind of playing into uh, their games where we were playing into the Europa League that, you know, I think it, it hurts. It would have been better for us to just have made it into, I mean, the Champions League, to be honest. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's it's a combination of everything or what, but I do think, yeah, we are starting to look tired. Hopefully at the international break, like I said, um, people can get some breaks and obviously our stars are going to play, but um, it would be great for us to, to be able to bring some of that rotation in. And hopefully guys like Lucas Mora, Lamella when he's fit, um, can come in and you know t take over for guys like Sonny and um, Bale, even Vinicius, right, coming in for Kane. It would it would be so great to be able to trust those guys on some of those Europa League games and cup games. But at the moment, Jose doesn't seem to trust him. And to be honest, I don't really seem to trust them. <laughs> I would rather have Kane get in there, score the goal, and then sub him out rather than what we did, you know, versus Antwerp where you got Vinicius playing and then you try to bring Kane in at the end in hopes that you can get the win. Um, I think it's better off this way. So uh, thanks as always, you guys, for your comments. And then today we've got our first ever audio uh, submission. Thanks so much, Bill, from England. Uh, here's what he had to say. Overall, very relieved with the three points. Totally agree with you, Bill. Very relieved. Uh, I think, like I said, we were all... Standout players for me um, throughout. I did feel like Hoiberg and... And Dombele were very controlling in the midfield. Yeah, I think uh, you and I were discussing this on the Discord chat. You, you just, you trust them. You trust those two players in the midfield. And it's so great to trust your midfield. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to trust more and more our back four, or, or, or maybe our center backs uh, with Dyer and Alderweireld. Um but yeah, it, it just feels so good to see those two really solidifying their place in the Premier League, um, for Ndombele anyway. And Hoybier, I mean, I'm going to say it over and over, signing of the season. I, I, I just I completely agree with Ginty. Um, it's, it's just uh, amazing that we got him. Again, $3 million when you when you send Kyle Walker-Peters the other way. The final third, we did look a little bit lackluster at times, and certainly West Brom had more of the chances going forward, particularly that wonderful save by Lloris. Uh, these are games that we need to be picking up points because we've got uh, really tough um, fixtures after the international break. So I'm very pleased to have got uh, these three wins, Burnley, Brighton and West Brom. Uh, this game actually really did remind me a lot of the Burnley game um, and we left it late again. Totally. I mean, 
like I was saying before, it's like these are the matches where you really you wish that Spurs would, you know, just kind of take the game by the scruff of the neck and get a goal or two so that we're not having to play this, you know, frantic end of the game kind of stuff. It's uh, it's not good for the blood pressure, I will say that much. But that is this that is a sign of a winning team uh, to keep pushing on and it's nice to see us winning games at the end as opposed to capitulating like we Agreed. saw in Newcastle and West Ham. So Agreed. a good three points. The real test comes after the break. Mm. Come on you Spurs. Yes. Come on you Spurs. Yeah, I mean this is it does feel like, you know, a, a Mourinho mentality is starting to get into these players. Games like this, um, you know, it's it's still, I know we're a few games in now, but it still feels like early days in terms of the second season of Jose Mourinho and getting that mentality into the players. But these are the games that we would draw or lose, right? Um, and so to be able to get these over the line against Burnley, against West Brom, huge points, huge points. And we were top of the, the table for something like 18 minutes or something like that. I don't know. Someone posted on there uh, how long they were on there. And, you know, just a taste. Just a taste. Hopefully, we will uh, be top of the table come Christmas. That'd be a great Christmas present. And, yeah, we'll see Spurs continuing to march in. So those are the thoughts of people on the Discord server, my thoughts as well. Give me your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks as always for watching and as ever, it was great talking with you.